Welcome to day two of the GS Trophy. Uh, we've had a great day so far, but yesterday we had some pretty interesting things. Tell me about it. All 19 countries stood up and presented interesting facts about their own countries, something special, engaged the, the crowd, and one engaged the crowd in a unique way. How did they do that? With a bottle. So today started at about 5 a.m. and it was pretty, pretty cold. Yeah, it was cold, it was rainy, it was muddy, we had an early start. It's all, all part of adventure riding and today was a perfect example of what you go through. Well, let's take a look at some of that. But day two turned out to be a lot better. The sun came out, the roads got better, they were less slippery. It was just overall a great day. What'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. We did get some rain, we did get a little bit of mud, and it was slick. Um, the logging roads, awesome, fast, high speed. You definitely gotta be careful about the logging trucks. There's a lot of them. They're really dangerous, so you absolutely. I don't know what you're talking about absolutely need to watch out for the logging trucks. Could you stop talking? Just, when you're on these roads, they're logging trucks. Watch out for those logging trucks. The gap, but the bike's a little heavier than a BMX bike, so uh, it didn't happen. The plan is, we have a pulleys, and we have a driving roll, and then we have a motorboard. Okay, I'll go tie it to the car. Thank you, everybody! <laughs> there was a truck a truck parked here. Oh, sorry. And as I went by him, he just put it in reverse and cut my time by one foot. And I bumped him and right in. Wow. We've just arrived at the next challenge for the day. And we have a lot of good riders here. However, this challenge doesn't involve the motorcycles at all. The competitors get here, they stop, get off the bikes, and then they're given a set of coordinates somewhere out there. They have to walk, find a flag, mark the location of that flag in the GPS, and written on the flag is the next point somewhere out there that they have to go and find. Probably an unwritten part of the challenge is the fact that this is bear country, and these are huckleberry fields. So right now we've got Several teams out there running around in motorcycle gear, probably wet because the day started out with a horrendously wet and cold ride through mud, through uh, paved high passes. So gear got plenty soaked, got in the dust, got a little bit dusty, stopped here. Now they're going for a jog through the field. They're gonna be tired tonight. Good job, guys. Some water in you guys. Come get some water. Oh. 
It turned out absolutely fantastic. I couldn't be happier with the results. Uh, what do you think, John? I thought it was great. Fun day, great conditions, everything went well for the most part. <laughs> yeah. uh, all the results will be posted on gstrophy.com, so check back for updates.